I am Michele Baroni. I'm Alberto Bellandi. And we are the two founders and project managers of RoverTech, the Rover team of Politecnico di Milano. The idea of a team was born during our first year of aerospace engineering, and after a year of planning and recruitment, the team was ready to set off with our first project, Kaios One. RoverTech is a project dedicated department made by 64 students of different academic backgrounds. The department is guided by two project managers that supervise the four sub-teams, these being Science, Structure, Software and EEPS, each run by a team leader. The department is part of the Student Association Polyspace. It supports the team legally and logistically to ensure smooth collaboration within the team, but also with external companies and partners. Moreover, Robotech has established a relationship with fellow student association from Politecnico di Milano the Automation Engineering Association for the development of the UAV and robotic arm. Ever since the dawn of engineering, it has never been a discipline of solo work. Indeed, all the greatest progresses in this discipline are the result of teamwork. This is possible thanks to a strong communication and collaboration between students, universities and companies. Our team is a great example of this. Indeed, in RoverTech, we're collaborating in a multidisciplinary team. We work all together to reach a new, greater goal. In Polyspace, we challenge ourselves to close the gap between the theoretical academic approach and the practical world by developing hands-on real engineering projects. The ERC provides us the best framework to further push the team by posing lifelike constraints and requirements. What we found out by looking in the eyes of everyone in the team is our will of discovering the world that surrounds us, playing with physics, mechanics, dynamics, electronics, and uh, if our world is not enough, how about playing with Mars? The structure team is in charge of the design, the validation, and the optimization of the prototype structural components, such as the frame, suspension system, wheels, and differential steam. Through finite element analysis, the structural behavior of each part is assessed under the most stressing scenario. This procedure is iterated to optimize mass and the shape to achieve lightness and stiffness. If required, fatigue analysis are performed to complete the characterization of each part. The team also supervises the assembly of the rover. The EEPS team has been divided into four main subsystems each of them responsible for a specific group of functionalities to facilitate the management of the design process. Sensors and onboard data handling is responsible for retrieving data for the, from the environment and other subsystems and control different components of the rover. Telecommunication manages the communication between rover and ground station. Electrical power subsystem includes batteries and DC-DC converter to deliver the required power to all elements of the rover. And finally, Electric Motors is responsible for the actual motion of the rover inside the Mars yard. The final configuration of Caruso 1 will have a rocker boogie system to equally distribute the weight among the six wheels. The latter are 3D printed in TPU. Our key focus is to develop a digital twin of our rover through a sophisticated multi-body model and synthetic signals generated by Simulink and Unreal Engine. We leverage ROS to create robust control algorithms and enhance navigation using the SLAM algorithm for precise mapping. Additionally, we employ the DSTAR algorithm for efficient path planning. Our innovative approach combines advanced simulations with real-world application, ensuring our rover is well prepared for the challenges ahead. The science team is in charge of the realization of the payloads that the rover will operate in its task and of the analysis of all the scientific aspects of the mission. It is divided into three sub-departments, the robotic arms team that comprehends mechanics, electronics and software division, the drill and sample storage team and the geological analysis team. Within the next 40 days, the software team will integrate the autonomous control. The EEPS team will finalize the electrical system, passing from a power strip and bench supply to batteries and converters. The manufacturing of the structural elements and scientific payload has begun, to which the assembly will follow. The scientific team will implement the Martian scientific path with the aim of finding sites with underground water and uncontaminated terrain suitable for agriculture.
the unmanned aerial vehicle is developed through a collaboration with the Automation Engineering Association. It is a quadcopter with the aim of mapping the environment, computed trajectory and executed autonomously. Onboard path planning and depth estimation allow for complete autonomous flight.